Will there be a hurricane this week? Let's talk tropics. I'll be honest, the seas are waking up. The next several days, ocean waters are warm. We don't have much dust. And that means we've got several chances to try to pop up a couple different things. Uh, the first one that's kind of a concern towards the U.S. will be some of these showers and thunderstorms just off the coast of Louisiana. They may start to turn a little bit more. We already have a low pressure system. Well, ocean waters, Gulf waters are very warm just off the coast of Houston, Galveston, and Baton Rouge and, and New Orleans. So we'll watch this swirl get closer to Texas. This will strengthen a little bit. Will it get strengthened enough to get a name? We'll have to see. But we also have more just clusters of thunderstorms back off towards the eastern Caribbean, really getting into parts of the central Atlantic. We've got two batches of thunderstorms going on right now. I think this one towards the west, this one's probably going to strengthen the most. This has a really good chance of becoming our next tropical storm, tropical storm Bonnie, here very soon. Here's another way to look at it with those three zones. We've got that 90% chance over the next few days to form some sort of tropical cyclone, tropical storm, maybe even turning up towards a hurricane. This one's likely to kind of just hug the coast of South America, just north of Colombia and Venezuela, maybe head towards the Caribbean, probably staying away from the United States. We have to keep our eye on this one. As more thunderstorms start to wrap up into it, it could cause a decent amount of rain coming in towards Texas. So the Houston area, much of southeast Texas could get kind of soaked. And then eventually that rain will move north into Dallas. And then I think just in time for the 4th of July holiday weekend, hitting Arkansas and Oklahoma, drenching them. Back towards the east, remember that other complex of thunderstorms that we had a little bit farther away from, just east of the Greater and Lesser Antilles, we've got another 20% chance for a cyclone to try to form over the next several days. So things are definitely looking a lot more active for a while. But this 20% one, this one will be one to watch. I think the 90% one, so far all indications kind of have it doing just a beeline due west right towards Central America, while well, this one has a little bit more wiggle room. If this thing can start to move a little bit more towards the north, you know, maybe several days down the road, it could bring some sort of weather towards more of the Caribbean and towards the United States. We'll have to see. It's just so far out. Uh, but we are watching this one that's going to be close. There's only a 20% chance of this thing actually getting, you know, becoming a depression and getting a tropical storm status, anything like that. So the chances are low. This one's probably just going to be a tropical wave that brings some heavy rain towards the U.S. mainland, mainly Texas, Louisiana, and then sharing some of those showers and thunderstorms towards the Ozarks and the Southern Plains by the 4th of July. But this is just taking a look at all the ocean waters that are above 80 degrees. Anywhere you see the red, that's where we have temperatures in the 80s. But then where you have more of these pinks and bright pinks too, we're in the mid 80s and sometimes we're even approaching some mid to upper 80s. Things are warm. And so that's really helping form the, that system just off the coast of Louisiana. It's probably not going to strengthen a super a big mount just because we've got a frontal system that's close by. There's some wind shear that's trying to knock it down. But these warm waters are definitely trying to help it uh, the system's back off towards the south. They're kind of in this lukewarm water. We're still above 80, but as these things move westbound, they may be able to get stronger just thanks to the warmer waters as you head uh, farther west into the Caribbean. This is taking a look at what we generally see for this last week of June. I mean, we only have a few days before we head into July. Uh, the one system that we have close to the coast, we've seen several times where systems get that warm water and then they just start spinning up real quick. Do they get super strong? Not always, but they do bring some rain towards the southern United States. Uh, it's harder for some of these storms to really form way out east. I mean, we're getting two that are trying to form right now. One may become Tropical Storm Bonnie. We'll, we'll have to say that's probably going to be, uh, that's probably our best guess. But usually the water temperatures aren't all that impressive yet. And a lot of times we have some dust. So that's why we don't usually see systems that far east this time of year. But right this year, we definitely have it. So we'll see everything as it moves towards the west. Let's take a look at that dust because dust has been, you know, a big saving grace for us so far for the month of June. You know, June 1st, first day of hurricane season, haven't had a lot. I mean, we had one system right at the beginning of the hurricane system that, you know, just crossed over the peninsula of Florida. But we had so much dust recently, but right now we don't have all that much dust. So as we look towards the week, this is our loop in towards Friday and in towards the weekend, most of the dust is actually just going to be sitting over the Sahara as it's trying to pick it up. But only a few batches come in. And we are getting a little bit of dust in some of the systems that are just east of the Greater Antilles. So that keeps them at bay a little bit. But once they move eastbound, you get some clear air. There's not really any dust in the Gulf. Not that much, to be honest, when you look in the Caribbean. So that helps these these systems try to grow over time. Here's a closer look at home. Most of the dust off the Atlantic, but then we're completely open for the Gulf. So that's why we may watch this one system that tries to spin up that's very close to the coast. Here's a look at future cast. Let's specifically take a look at this storm that's coming in towards Texas. You see the wrapping of the rain around 
kind of low pressure system. But eventually that's going to move north and spread some of the rain towards Arkansas and Oklahoma. And then we've got our two storm systems that we we're talking about. This one is actually the 90% chance. This could become our tropical storm Bonnie, but most likely the winds are just carrying it due west. So we don't really have an impact. It may just cross Central America and just head into the Pacific and then maybe have to worry about it for a while. The other storm system may go a little bit farther north. If that happens, it may be able to be also carried farther north as the wind scheme kind of changes over the Dominican and Haiti and Cuba and even Puerto Rico. So the big storm, maybe Bonnie, that'll hit the probably hit the mountains of Central America and then eventually fizzle out. But we'll have to see what happens. I mean, we're already going in towards almost a week ahead of time to see what this second storm system does out in the western Atlantic. But maybe rain chances starting to increase for the Caribbean. So overall, got to know, the tropics are starting to become more active because we've got less dust and the ocean waters are getting pretty warm.